This announcement is to mainly state some of the changes that is now going to be happening inside UNSC Rubicon. For some of you who are outside the clan, this does not pertain to you, but for some of you who are inside UNSC Rubicon, this is mainly for you, as this is your own group. First off, I will say this. Due to some of the infighting and some of the issues that's going on between staff and also with the enlisted personnel, martial order has now been put into effect. What this means is that officer will be really evaluated to see their actual worth in terms of leading, in terms of communicating with other branches, in terms of communicating with their enlisted members, and in terms of overall uh, workflow. In the event an officer does not pass this or is not fit to work with other officers or at least able to do their own job, they will be removed from position. This also means that with the enlisted personnel, they'll be also going through their own disciplinary measures. This will mean that any tomfoolery that's been going on will no longer have room for it. This also being said, this also means that this will not happen in front of myself. Which brings me to the next point. I have taken my own measures to make sure that I am around more and will no longer be tolerating any infighting or any tomfoolery that's been going on let alone let anything go along unpunished. If people wish to chill or do whatever, that's one thing. I do enjoy, you know, everyone bonding and get along, or at least having their own fun measures. However, any more infighting or any more drama, any more rule breaking, any more fighting or you know, undermining command, anything that goes against the Rubicon 10 commandments will no longer be tolerated or at least go unpunished anymore. With this being said, a new disciplinary system is now in place. This is non-negotiable. This is non-exceptionary. And this is non... How can I say this? This is non-changing. Anyhow, with that also being said, with the martial uh, order in place, this will also reinforce any issues that's going on between the sparring branches. As in, you are now put on a tighter leash, if you want to say. The ODC branch already looks up to some of y'all and your positions do not give you the excuse to act the certain way that some of y'all have. This being said, no no further, I guess, warnings will be given, only disciplinary actions, if not demotions or discharges. With that also being said, this is mainly for any other enlisted personnel there are non Spartans. Any issues that's been going on will now come to a cease. Any further I guess attempts at it will no longer be tolerated and it will result in a demotion or immediate discharge. In the event that I even have to tell an officer to discipline anyone, that will no longer be, I guess, held at a lighter angle. But that being said, the officer's job is to manage any events and make sure their training for their men is better. They are no longer tied to discipline, which means that any disciplinary actions or result in more harsher punishments. Any other further martial order will be discussed inside Rubicon. With this also being said, on to the next change. The next change is with us in our own event system. Between us and other clans, we have not been doing as many events. However, that will soon change. We are now opening more events, and we're opening more events throughout the week. Which means that any practices that will be going on is only meant for practice. However, I'm expecting to see at least two or three events per week. In the event that we do not meet this goal, well, we are going to try to work on that. However, in the event that we are able to meet this goal, that means that any infighting during practice will no longer be tolerated. And any other personnel who is not fit for duty will no longer have a place. Which means, in the event that people are refusing to do their job, you will be immediately removed. We do not ask much. The other part of that is the fact of an ally clan that we are with. For those of you who are somewhat aware, I have cut off all events between us and UNSC Zyphos. You're probably wondering why. The main reason is because, well, this. One of the main reasons is because of the flip-flopping between us and Zyphos. By that, I mean usually when someone comes from our group, they go to Zyphos. When someone leaves Zyphos, they usually come to our group. This cycle has been going on long enough, and it's been causing a whole lot of, I guess, clan tension. Especially with the point that we recently received news that CENTCOM's event has been used by our maps. 
Now, you may sit here and say, oh, they're just maps. However, we are aware that someone who recently came from UNSC Zyphos gave CENTCOM the maps and recently took credit for that. This is a somewhat act that we do not take lightly. With that also being said, I'm not accusing Zyphos of poaching if that was also rumor, which I will address now. Our rumor to that is we did not accuse Zyphos or Zyphos leaders or Zyphos personnel of poaching save for one time. And that was already handled. The only issue that we have currently with Zyphos is the fact that people are going back and forth between the two clans. which, And, you know, in exchange for that, I'm basically saying this. Any events that's going on between the both will temporarily, or at least for now, until further negotiation is said, be cut off. That also means that any members that is coming from Zyphos to us will be denied until, again, any further negotiation is discussed. Anyhow. The last bit of that, this, I guess, announcement is basically label some of the changes. For now, we're also doing joint fire team measures, which, again, inside Rubicon will be discussed, if not already has. The martial order laws will also further be discussed along with the new, I guess, chain of command. That also being said, any measures in terms of moving from branch to branch will also be addressed as followed. For ODSTs, right now your current branch is in need of, I guess, more leadership. Some of you guys are wanting to go Spartan 3s, some of you guys are wanting to go Spartan 4s, and I'm not even going to state who, but one of you already mentioned to be a Spartan 2. With that being said, I'm not allowed any branch transfers until the current branch is settled. You're not going to, for some of you, this will come as a harsh decision, but I will say as bluntly as possible. If you are not willing to help your branch and you're willing to transfer out, you do not deserve that rank. You better put something on that table before you leave. You are not going to come here, be a placeholder, and just dip to a higher position without putting in the work to even gain a higher position, especially for people who've been here longer and did more work. And for some of you who have not been doing your job in the current branch, you are going to do your job or you are going to leave. There's going to be no positives until done so. This is not a give and take. It's either you help or you leave. You're not going to get a higher reward if you're not going to be doing anything. Anyhow, any other further details that's around that will be discussed in there. In, you know, Unicy Rubicon. However, for anyone else who is outside the clan, this the rest of this is probably none of your business. The rest of it is, you know, we're become business. If you get anyone has any questions, go ahead and state so. However, this announcement video is mainly for the people of Rubicon who has missed the meeting. I will also state this as a last minute thing before I guess I end this video. For some of you who may sit here and say that, hey, Fred's talking this out of nowhere, or hey, Fred's just seen this, just know this. I had to make people mention. Some of you claim it was that one do, but others just know this, okay? Trust officers to their own work. They did not do so. Some of them have, and some of them have been successful. Some of them have tried to and have not been as successful. Now, I'm going to be handling it, and I will no longer tolerate any of it. On duty, or even off duty. Off duty, I don't care what you do, as that is off duty. However, by off duty, I mean if an off duty matter becomes an on duty matter, then we are going to not have any tolerance there. Especially when I had to cut my own means of, I guess, life in order to handle people. Again, this is a video game. I understand that logic. However, people cannot get along over a video game, I guess, an education or at least revamp. Or at least, you know, tolerance needs to be cut. Anyhow, that being said, a lot of you should be seeing a lot more of myself personally. Anyhow, any other questions, go ahead and leave so in the comments. Or if you're part of Rubicon, you already know how to contact. If you're not part of Rubicon, you do not need to worry about this video. Just know that a lot of the infighting is no longer happening, whether you want to believe it or not.